Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We've got another video for you guys here. And man, Brock Osweiler, big boy Brock. He's going to be starting this week versus the Eagles, man. Trevor Simeon, man. He plays good, but then he plays bad as well. So hopefully Brock Osweiler can return to his 2015 form and he can be a starting quarterback for the rest of the season. So we're going to see how Brock Osweiler is going to do versus the Eagles this week in a simulation game. If you guys haven't checked out the last video, I'll put it on the screen right now. It'll be in the description probably too. We're going to see what would have happened if Brock Osweiler played against the Chiefs last week. How would he have done? So, But right now, we're focused on this week. And Brock Osweiler is the official starter. So let's see what he can do this week versus the Eagles. Make sure you guys drop a like down below. And before we get started, make sure you guys comment down below how you think Brock's going to do this week. And if you guys haven't already hit the subscribe button, please do so. We've got videos coming out like this every single week. All right, the Broncos will be kicking off first, and so the Eagles will get the ball. Let's see if our defense can get a stop and get the ball back to Brock, man. Big boy Brock, man. I'm so excited to see him play this weekend. Whew, it's been a while since we've had something like this in Denver. Here he is, man. Carson Wentz, probably the number one MVP candidate this year. Going up against the Broncos defense, but I mean, this Eagles offense has been unstoppable, man. They've been killing it. Now they've got a Jay Ajayi. Jay Ajayi is on the Eagles. And on first down, he's going to find his receiver for 17 yards. I mean, this Broncos defense is going to really have to play tight if they want to come out with a win here. First down again. Carson Wentz has got time. Oh, he's got a wide open Torrey Smith, man. Broncos, you, you got to do a better job, man. It's two plays in, and they've already moved the ball 40 yards into our own territory. All right, first and 10, man. Come on, give me another stop. Third play, Jay Ajayi. He jukes back, and oh, my God. Jay Ajayi. Jay Ajayi and LeGarrette Blunt in Philadelphia. First of all, Jay Ajayi for a fourth-round pick. What are you doing, Miami? And well, well, we've got a game on our hands, man. We're going to have to cover the run and the pass. So second and 10 here for the Eagles. Let's see what Carson Wentz does. Oh, he almost gets hit, and he finds Zach Ertz. Is he in for the touchdown? Yes, he is. Oh, no, he's down at the one. All right. From the one-yard line, first and goal. Can we get another goal line stop like we did against Melvin Gordon? That would be nice. Well, all right, second and goal here. Carson Wentz. Go get him, go get him, go get him. Todd Davis pulls in the big sack, puts him back at the 15-yard line, and we all know how good the Broncos' defense is on third and long. Whew. Good play by Todd Davis. Glad to have him back. Couldn't play last week versus the Chiefs with an angle injury. And here we go, third and goal. We already know how good the Broncos are, but Nelson Aguilar, where do you come from? Nelson Aguilar burns the defense. He's been stepping up this year in his third year in the league. And they get a third and goal, 15-yard touchdown. Broncos got to play tighter, man, on D. Got to play tighter. Got to step it up. Well, anyways, Broncos get the ball. And here he is, big boy Brock. Started for the Broncos two years ago. Went to the Texans, went to the Browns, and he's back, and he's starting once again. He's taking his team. Take your team to victory, Brock. Let's go. First and ten. Brock is going to come out throwing the football. He's going deep. He's got A.J. Derby. Let's go. One out of one. 18 yards to start the day. All right, second and ten. Going to throw the ball again. And he's going to find DT over the middle for a first down as the first quarter is coming to a close. So Brock Osler right now is looking pretty good versus Eagles defense that actually likes to play soft. And just like Brock said, 4 plus 4 plus 4 is a first down. That's all we need. But 3rd and 11, man, you, you got to get that first down here, Brock. We've had He's got all the time in the world. Oh, and the flag, it's a flag. Come on. Oh, it turns out. Remember they show this? It's a holding on Allen Barber. So we punt the ball to the Eagles. So Carson Wentz is back with the play action. He's got a lot of time in this world. He's going to find a wide open out on Jeffrey. How is he so wide open? Are we not playing defense? And so far, Carson Wentz has been torturing the Broncos offense right now. So on first and 10, throw it. Ooh, a keep to leave with the key slot right there. Did he drop the pick? Let's look at the replay. Keep to leave coming up. Ooh, we almost got the pick right there. You got to catch that, buddy. Anyways, third and 10. Let's get this defense off the field now. Let's go. Shane Ray gets a sack as Carson Wentz ran right into him. Going to bring up a fourth down, and, well, Jake Elliott, what can we say? This rookie kicker has been amazing. Over 50 yards. Oh, it's actually a low kick, and it's good. Jake Elliott, what a gem the Eagles have found in him. So 10-0 to lead. 2 minutes, 40 seconds, Brock. Let's go. Second and 10. Oh, he's going to get sacked. No, he's going to break out of it. Oh, no, he's going to get sacked. 
Come on, Brock. Third and 14 now. Long third down. We know the Broncos are not good on offense on third down, but it's a new quarterback. The offense is re-energized. Let's see what he does here. Third and 14. Lines blocking up. He fires downfield. Oh, he's got Benny Fowler. Benny, go, 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 go. Oof. And tackle at the 14. Brock Osweiler, with, that, was, that was definitely more than 60 yards downfield. So first and five after an Eagles penalty. Brock Osweiler is going to find C.J. Anderson. He gets to the three-yard line, and the Broncos can score a touchdown here. Can the Broncos get over the red zone woes and score a touchdown? Can they? On first and goal, Brock. You got to get rid of the football, man. Just throw it away or something. You can't take a sack. Well, it's all good. Second and goal, 11 yards out. You got to get a touchdown here. Field goal's not good enough. Come on, Brock. We all believe in you. Get that pass in there. Oh, man. He's going to overthrow his receiver. Well, third and goal now. Come on, Brock. We need this touchdown, and you know it. You've got good time. Take your time and find the open guy. And he finds Emmanuel Sanders for the touchdown. And the Broncos make this game one possession right before halftime. Emmanuel Sanders with his first touchdown of the game. And Brock Oswald with his first touchdown of the year for the Broncos. Well, there's 30 seconds left, and the Eagles, well, they're going to try and score with two touchdown, two timeouts, I mean. But Vaughn Miller ends it right there. Vaughn Miller gets another sack this year. That's going to take us to halftime. Let's check out the stats, guys. Brock Oswald leading, the, leading over Carson Wentz in passing yards, but the Eagles' rushing game has been way better. So the Broncos get the ball to start the second half. All right, we're down by three. Third and eight. Can Brock Oswald get another third down? He's got Jamal Charles, and he throws it out too far in front of him. But he had a dive, and he couldn't get the first down after he caught it because we know how good Jamal Charles is in space. Eagles get the ball back. Carson Wentz has the defense found something. Doesn't look like it because Burton, oh, my God. All right, first and ten. Can we please get a stop? Carson Wentz, oh, did he catch that? Nelson Aguilar on the sideline, covered by Chris Harris. What a catch, man. Nelson Aguilar's really been stepping up. Look at that tight throw, tight catch. And there you can see Nelson Aguilar got his feet in bounds. And our defense just can't do anything right now. First and 10. Torrey Smith wide open. Carson Wentz is 10 out of 13. Three incompletions. What is the snow fly zone? All right, third and five. Just get him off the field right here, please. And another open receiver. Or tight end right there. All right, first and 10. Carson Wentz probably going Throw it like a 20-yard pass or something here, right? These are all the times and throw it. Chris Harris. Oh, my God. Chris Harris. You're happy that you swatted the ball, dude. You got to catch that. Dude. Okay. Look at this replay over here. Chris Harris is wide open. That's an easy pick six if you catch that. And he just drops it. We need to make those plays count. And on third and two, Jay Ajayi. Eagles look like a Super Bowl team right now. First and goal, give it to Jay Ajayi, and he's in for another touchdown. Now, just not Carson Wentz, Jay Ajayi is going off too. Eagles have a complete offense right now, and looks like the Broncos can't stop them. But guys, look at this kickoff. This is just stupid. Our special teams has been stupid all year, fumbling the ball, and right here, Cody Latimer fumbles, and he doesn't even pick it up. The Eagles pick it up, man. Isaiah McKenzie's muffing, and now Cody Latimer's muffing. I know you're pissed at yourself, but who cares, man? That's an unnecessary play right there. Third and nine. And Carson Wentz overthrows receiver, but they're already in field goal range because Cody Latimer had a fumble. Take the field goal. It's now a 20-7 to lead with five minutes left in the fourth. Osweiler, the fourth and one after he gets the ball back. With about four and a half minutes on the clock. Broncos need this to stay in the game, and I mean they need this. Finds A.J. Derby, and A.J. Derby picks up the first down. So Brock Osweiler right now, he got four minutes, need two touchdowns. Let's see what he can do here. It's a big drive. Second and five and find Emmanuel Sanders, and he gets past the 50-yard line. On the next play, first and ten, Brock Osweiler with the play action. He's looking downfield, and he finds Benny Fowler for about 20 yards. Benny Fowler's had a few big plays this game, and... Hopefully he can play like that on Sunday. So first and ten. He's going to take the sack. You fumbled the football. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Well, the Broncos pick it up. Or Brock Osweiler, dude. What are you doing? You run back and you fumble the football. It's right there. You don't even pick it up. Third and 24 with two minutes left. I mean, the game's probably over, right? 
but he flings it down the sideline to Emmanuel Sanders. Doesn't have enough for the first down. He's going to make up a fourth and six. Another big play for the game. The Broncos need this. They need a touchdown on this drive, so can Brock get another fourth down conversion here? Fourth and six. He finds Benny Fowler, who comes up big for another first down. So now third and 13, and Broncos really couldn't do anything with a minute left. Brock Oswald can throw it back. Another fourth and 13. The Broncos are two and two on this drive on fourth down. Can they go three of three? Brock Oswald looks to the back of the end zone, finds DT for his first touchdown in 13 NFL games. Yes, that's been 13 games since DT's got a touchdown. And bam, Brock Oswald enters the game. Bam, that's what you get. That's what you get. DT gets his feet in. And now, after an extra point, the onside kick is looming. Six-point game. McManus kicks it too hard straight at the lineman. But the Broncos still have all three of their timeouts. First and ten. Jay Ajayi gets stuffed. Going to bring up a second and ten. Jay Ajayi. Oh, we'll, oh, that was big, though. That's big. It's a big stop. I thought he was gone. Third and six. Once again, Wendell Smallwood this time. And he gets stuffed with a timeout. 50-yard field goal for Jake Elliott. If he makes this, he puts the game away. And does he make it? Yes, this rookie. That's his second make of 50-plus yards. And he might have just put the game away. Brock Oswald, how is he doing so far? That's not a bad game at all. No picks, only seven incompletions, two touchdowns, over 200 yards. Especially when the rushing game isn't going anywhere. So Brock Oswald on first and 10 with about 30 seconds. He's going to roll to the right, throw on the run. And he hits DT over midfield. Can the Broncos score a touchdown and get the ball back? Let's see, 12 seconds here. They need to score on this drive. Hail Mary right now. Brock, Brock. The clock's ticking, Brock. Brock, the clock's ticking. Throws it downfield. DT catches it, but that's going to be the end of the game. But hey, our offense looked a lot better with Brock Osweiler, and the Eagles are probably the best team in the NFL right now. So losing by nine points when we could have won by a lot more. Drop pick. And a fumble. And look at Brock Osweiler, 127 QB rating. Finished with 280 yards and two touchdowns. Beat Carson Wentz in the passing game and threw more touchdowns and had a higher rating than him. Longest pass, 64 yards for Brock. See the rushing game, Ajayi, eight rushes for 47 yards and a touchdown. And CJ Anderson only had three rushes for nine yards. Receiving, Emmanuel had four for 45 and a touchdown. Benny Fowler had a huge day. Four receptions for 103 yards. DT, four for 85, and a touchdown. And Alshon Jeffrey lead the, led the Eagles with 57 yards on the defense. Brandon Marshall led the game with 10 tackles and sacks. Brandon Graham had one and a half. Shane Ray had one and a half. Fletcher Cox had one. Vaughn Miller had one. Michael Kendricks had one. And Todd Davis has one. So that's going to be it for the video, guys. Please drop a like and comment down below how you think Brock Osweiler is going to do for the Broncos. And if you guys aren't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe for new videos like this every single week. And I'll catch you guys next week.